Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on bin number one. Now, it has been eight days since we added the cantaloupe into the center to try to lure all the worms in underneath, and that way we can pick up a bunch. Now, I have another bin here ready to go. Um, it's a larger bin. I'll show it to you when we get the worms out. I'm hoping there's a lot. This is ready to go. I've had it soaking with uh, water for a couple weeks. There's no food in there, but it's all uh, bedding material right now. But right now, let's go and see if we really got a good chance to lure all these worms in. It's, as I said, it's been eight days, which should be enough for them to sort of make their way towards that cantaloupe, and we'll see how it's going from there. So let's go and take a look. All right, here we go with bin number one. This is our last update, and today's the 25th. So eight days right there. And let's take a look and see how this is going. First off, a little bit of moisture on the top, but not a whole lot. Let's just get in here and take a look. I'm just going to put this off to the side and grab my glove. And let's start moving this stuff off. So first thing first, we're just going to take this, move this off to the side. Uh, it does look like there is a little baby worm on there. So they're still, uh, still moving forward with uh, making some babies here. But right now, what we want to do is we want to check this center section. This is where we buried that cantaloupe. There's some worms on top. We're just going to leave some of these in here. It's okay. And we're just going to dig down in here and just see what's going on. Oh, look at this. Hold on here. So there's a whole bunch of worms in this cantaloupe. This cantaloupe is essentially gone, but look at this. You can just see that there's a ton of worms in there. Now we're going to remove this. Where did my container go that I was going to use? Just give me a second here. We're just going to remove this entire thing. This is why I did not put any food in this new system. So I've got this little bin right here. We're just going to add it in there. And just sort of break it apart. Look at this. Nice luring of worms in there. There's probably some more down underneath it where the microbes were. So we're going to add those as well. We can always, it's always a good idea to add some compost from your old worm bin to a new worm bin. That really helps to kind of boost that microbial content and get things going. So we're just going to take this center section here, which is nice and rich with microbes. And of course the leftover worms. And we're just going to add that in there. So we've got a container here full of worms. And microbes good moisture content not too bad we're going to put that off to the side now and we're just going to try to dig through here just a little bit to see how things are going in here this is ready for harvest though it looks like to me I mean, there's still worms in here we're gonna to have to run this through maybe a sorter we could do another cantaloupe entry if we wanted to there's actually still a lot of worms in here surprisingly even though we took out quite a bit but essentially we just want to see how this is going and just keep turning this a little bit to make sure that these castings stay nice and loose and these worms are doing a great job of working their way through here. Sorry, moving this around a little bit. Let me just move it forward. I'm trying to push on this corner here. A little bit stuck down in there. But overall, this, I mean, this material still just looks fantastic. Almost all of it's been worked through. I do see something glittering right over here. I don't know what that is. Looks like a piece of uh, plastic probably in here. Uh, that'll just go in the yard. I'm not going to try to grab out little pieces like that. It's probably from some piece of fruit or something that, uh, some label or plastic label that was on something. But look at this. This material just looks absolutely fantastic. And this is ready to really go through the sorter. We're going to let it sit for no, a little bit longer before we put it through the sorter. Um, just to see if we can work through it a little bit more. It is definitely ready to sort. If, if this was at your house, I would definitely say to sort it or maybe even just throw this in your... Like now that we already took out a huge chunk of worms here, I could even throw this already into my other container that goes from my garden. All this material would be composted. I'm going to go ahead and take this out too and put this on top. But look at this, they're already moving down into here, away from the light. And we can even just kind of scrape this off even if you wanted to, and you can throw this in. See, this doesn't have any worms in it on the top. Worms are down, they're going to keep burrowing down away from the light, which is why I'm going to throw this cloth on top. And that's where we're going to keep them. Now, the next update I do on this will be harvesting this bin. As I said, right now, I would typically harvest this right now. My sorter, though, um, uh, I need to fix it. It wasn't working quite right the other day when I went to go turn it on. So I want to wait a little bit longer to make sure that's working fully. But I did want to get an update there and pull out these worms. So we're going to put this back together. And I'm going to show you this new worm bin that we're putting together here. So I'm going to put this lid back on. And let me show you this new system that we're building here. All right. So this is... Instead of my normal 10 gallon totes or the bus boy bins that I've been showing, this one actually is a mortar tray. Now this one has, 
There's a couple seeds in here when I was uh, doing this, but let me just take that out. This is wet material. This is a mixture of cocoa coir and hardwood pellets. So this is a mixture of both of them and I've just sort of mixed them together. It looks starting to dry out a little bit. There's still a little bit of moisture in the bottom you can see down there, but it's drying out a little bit. I'm just sort of mixing this up a little bit. We can add some more water. But this has been sitting for probably a week or two. We do need to add some crushed eggshells to it. And that's where we're also gonna add that half a cantaloupe in here that was pulled out of the other bin that's you know been eaten away a little bit. But as you can see, this material is just very different looking, has a nice spotted complexion to it. And we're just gonna go ahead and dig this up right over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna first off, just because I probably should have done this earlier actually, but we're gonna just first off all over this bin, we're just gonna dump a little bit of our crushed eggshell and crab shell. Just kind of sprinkle it in here. There we go. Remember that stuff, you don't want to breathe that stuff in. I'm being very careful, it's very low in the system and there's very little bit, only a little bit left in there. Now, what we're gonna do is the material that we just harvested, I'm gonna move this cloth off to the side, but we're gonna just dump all of this in, right like this, right here. Now let those worms work at this area these microbes and everything, they're gonna take over in this section right here. We're gonna bury them. And actually we're gonna bury them a little bit deeper than that even. Let me just make sure I get everything out of here. We're gonna bury them a little bit deeper than that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just sort of shift some of this material over. Kind of really make sure this is buried in there. There's a good mixture of material I feel. I feel like this is, like the cocoa coir by itself feels a little bit too light and the pellets feel a little bit too heavy. So this is kind of a nice little mixture here, I feel. I do have tons of cardboard to go through too, but I also have some of this material to really kind of work through. You can see this stuff just flakes apart. We're gonna put our little cloth here on top just to mark where it was. And with this, by the way, I'm bringing over some of the bugs, the springtails and stuff like that, that's fine. But you know, this material looks pretty good. Just a little bit of moisture in the bottom. I could maybe use a little bit of moisture in here since this is gonna be an open bin. Um, actually, maybe I will just add a little bit more, sprinkle a little bit on the top here. Since I've got my sprayer right here, ready to go. Let me just grab that. We'll put a little bit a little bit of moisture on the top here. And then we'll see also about adding worms from our second system that are left over here. So first off, I'm just gonna clean off my gloves a little bit. I haven't done that in a while. Just kind of get some of the stuff off of them, bring them out. And we'll just kind of wet this top down a little bit. Just to get it a little bit wet, we don't need a whole lot. Yeah, you can see it's still it's absorbing it, no problem. And it was it was already wet underneath. I dumped water in this before, but you can see it's on the sides here it's sort of drying up a little bit. And this way it'll just kind of stay damp. So, with that, that's it for my update for this week. I will hopefully the next time I uh, take out this bin. It will be to harvest it, not, not this one, I should say, my bin number one. will be to harvest it through my, my sorting machine and see what comes out on the other side and see how it's doing with that. So with that, I'm just going to wipe off my gloves here a little bit. But uh, that's, the, that's the next process, part of this process. We took the worms out of the majority of them. Now we're going to send it through the sorter, make sure that all the big stuff is out. Any of that large stuff or worms is going to end up in this system right, now, or right here. And we're going to go from there. So... That's what we're going to that's what we're going to do right now. So, thank you for watching and if you have any questions, please let me know.